Hello everybody, um, this is Caboose195 and today I'm going to be showing off some uh, programs in which you can edit Minecraft and create some awesome stuff with it by um, I always see, you can see some of these things here, I have got some album artwork decorating my walls in this large cavern um, floating islands with huge bridges and so I'll be showcasing how to do all that First of all, I'm going to be showing off MC Edit, as this is the center tool, pretty much, of everything you'll be doing in the future. We've got here we have a bunch of uh, tools at the bottom we can use, and I'll, I'll try to explain some of the more important ones or less obvious ones, and what you can do with them. As I don't know if I need to tell you what Move Player does or Move Player Spawn does. So okay, suppose we need to select as although well, it appears quite simple, there are a few tricks which are um, quite useful to get into grips with. So let's say I wanted to make a ten by ten block. Let's do that for now as I us drag um a small little area here. And you see this area is nine by six by one, how I want it ten by ten by ten. So each of the these blue blue and yellow thing each indicate a corner of the cuboid and this here corresponds with the colour so first of all I'm going to make it a bit wider so I'm going to press A on um, the nudge blue and then um, I mean sorry left click on nudge blue and press A and now it's 10 width I want to increase the length a bit by 4 so I'm going to hold left click on the, um, the yellow and press W four times in order to get it um, higher, I will hold blue for this one, and this time press Q, as um, Q and Z are uh, your Y axis ones, basically. I think it's a Y axis anyway. So this here, now we have a 10 by 10 cube. Now, there are lots of things you do with this. Actually, first of all, um, I explain the movement a bit more. Movement is fairly simple. W A S D to um just move along um a horizontal plane or towards um the center. Q um to ascend, Z to descend. Holding down the um right click right mouse button will allow you to move around like so. So now we've got all that done, um, I'm going to show you guys the next feature I'm going to show you guys, which is the um, fill and replace. And we need to use a bedrock for this, I think. So we click OK, chosen our material, and we'll click fill now. And that has given us a bedrock, um, a bedrock cube. So hit D select here, you can press control D or just click on that and there you go. And now I'm going to show you guys uh, two more features which is the clone feature and then um, actually first of all I'll show you guys fill and replace. So I'm going to click left click here um, and I will left click here. So, and I want to change all the bedrock to um I don't know sand let's say so I'm going to click fill and replace again click bedrock at this time we'll press replace and select um we'll select wood actually so it's going to scroll down click OK and then can you press swap although there's no um bedrock or wood to swap with so it's a press replace you see the stone is unaffected however instead of the bedrock cube we now have a wooden cube now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone these and stack them on top of each other except in reverse order so you can see here my computer is a bit slow so it takes a, it takes a while to render but you can see um, there now you can see that it's a replica of the um, the box I just copied and there are lots of things you can do to manipulate this object for instance pressing E will rotate it horizontally 
pressing it's, it will usually be R for you guys, but I changed mine to be equals um, while I was messing around. So pressing R, or in my case equals, um, basically rotates it around vertically, or rolls it as it says. F is um, press does as it says. It flips, flips it over. I don't think it will. She sh should work. So you can see, um, is it working? No, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to work when I do this, however, it will be more clear what it does when I show you along this axis. So I press equals now. As you can see, it has flipped it. Pressing G will um, mirror pretty much so it uh, flips it over like 180 degrees. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stack it on top of this, however, it can be quite uh, difficult to you know, fiddle around with just normally, so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this nudge key. It looks like it's lined up along one axis, so I don't need to worry about um, that. However, I still need to um, manipulate it along left and up. And to that, it's the same as nudging like you would for the um, selection box. Hold down nudge and just move it around as you please. Uh, you can choose a copy air or not, I'm going to choose well it actually make a difference, so I'll just click clone Control D to deselect and when my thing renders it, when my computer renders it, it will be stacked. Okay so now I'm going to show you guys one of a, a more sort of, uh, sort of more of a complicated feature, however it is a feature which uh, you sort of need in order to create more of the um, complicated awesome things like generating awesome landscapes so I have a selection box here and this I'm going to hold shift and Q to make it go faster so when it's 81 height should be good enough I'm going to press filter and it's going to have a it's got four preset filter types. You can smooth it down. There's nothing to smooth, so no point in that. Chunk surface repair. There's uh, not much point in that. Or Forester. I'm going to use Forester as this should show you guys uh, a feature, a more obvious feature of this and what you can do with it. So make the tree height about 50 with a variation. I don't have to vary too much. I'll have a variation of 8. I don't want any roots, so I'm going to select no. I'm going to change the wood material to um, gravel. And the leaf material, I'll select, uh, I'll select gravel as well. And plant on stone. So now, when I hit filter, it will create, with any luck, giant gravel trees. Now my one will almost certainly kill itself trying to do this so I will um, pause the recording and come right back when it's, it's done. Okay so it's um, finished recording, or not recording sorry, it's finished generating the trees so let's have a little look around and see what it has created. So you can see it's got, it's got sort of a giant tree structure and because I made it with gravel, um, I can do some fairly awesome things like this, which I will show you guys just in a second. Okay, so now um, back in Minecraft, or rather in Minecraft, you see lovely giant gravel tree. And what we can do is we can create a rather natural looking mountain simply by knocking out a few... Um, you piece of gravel. Oh, here we go. This is gonna kill my <laughs> kill my FPS. I'm very sorry about this, guys. It's probably not the most brilliant thing to watch, um, but do not worry. It is. It's almost done. Let's make sure. The rest of it is uh, done. 
is what we are going to do is we are going to start messing around with this sort of spire we've created. Okay, so that's, that's good enough for now, I think. I mean, this is for only for tutorial purposes. So I'm going to hit save and I shall be right back. Alright guys, so now we're back in MC Edit, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn this mountain into something a little more nice looking. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of this part here because it's uh, far too high. Select it all, press delete, and it is gone. Deselect that. And I'll try and select it all using the uh, nudge keys. So that's again aerial view. Um, it's like I used to be nudged a few more to that side. I used to be nudged a few more here. Okay, so now that is uh, almost all selected. Anyway, should we? I think mean, that's about, just about all. Like, all um, Selected, quickly hit fill and replace. We want to replace the gravel with stone. And we're going to press swap. No, sorry, not swap, replace. Oh, you always have to hit OK first on what you want to do. So now that is all stone. We're going to filter this time. Um, it will be a topsoil, depth for block type grass, that's good enough. Now what we have here now is a sort of natural looking mountain type thing. So you can, you could, lots of things you could do with this now, you could uh, flip it over and create a sort of floating island like this. Or you could just um, maybe make it a bit smoother, which I think I'll uh, do now. Click Control Z to, and I'll try and smooth for you, show you guys what that does. So we'll go to smooth, repeat count. We'll smooth it. We're quite a bit smoother, I think. So do repeat count ten. And you see, much smoother and much less um, dangerous to climb up so I hope you guys like this tutorial I'll be showing you guys a bunch of like a lot more programs I'll show you how to create things like um, uh, that this album artwork I'm decorating things like this huge note block music type thing uh, and so on um, I hope you guys have enjoyed please like um, comment and subscribe stick around for more episodes